I'm Wendy Blacksland. Gregory Blacksland, the explorer, was my great, 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 great grandfather. I'm Gregory Blacksland. My brother and I grew up in Kent, England. Now, I couldn't resist writing a play about him because the story of Blacksland, Wentworth and Lawson crossing the Blue Mountains is one of the most exciting and iconic ones in Australian history. I'm William Wentworth. I was born in the colony and proud of it. My father was a free settler, though my mother was a convict. I'm Lieutenant Lawson. I'm a military man, a soldier and a surveyor. I'm very good at measurements. It's really vital for every Australian to know this story, partly because the colony was saved from starvation by the discovery of a route through the Blue Mountains to the fertile plains beyond but also because it's a very iconic point in the contact between cultures, between the Aboriginals who've been here for thousands of years and the newcomers. The Europeans are guests on this land, but they stay too long. They bring fire sticks, which kill. And there are so many of them. And they bring sickness. Most of the Aboriginal people who live by the sea are already gone. The explorers had fought against so many different odds. They couldn't find water for their horses. They couldn't find food for them. They got lost. But they fought their way through, through the brush, and then they got to the highest point in the Blue Mountains. They looked down. They couldn't see how to get down. And it looked as if it was just the same sandy soil that they'd been seeing before. And then one of them saw that the sandy soil was moving. Mr. Wentworth! It's long grass. As far as we can see. It's food for the horses and for sheep and cattle for years to come. <laughs> well, 30 years. Have we really crossed the Blue Mountains? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> we have three different people playing 40 different parts live in front of you. It's not a film. It's not a book. You're there with them. And when you're there with an audience, I have seen five-year-olds gasp. I've had the pleasure of listening to 12 year olds try to explain bits of it. And older people sit there with this wonderful intent listening. Of course, there are also free settlers. That means we weren't convicts. Hello! Some more intelligent than others. I'm Matthew Pye, and this is Mary Milligan. Hello! And Thomas Tate. Hello! <laughs> We're from England. We wanted to come here to get away from too many people and too many rules and too many wars and to make our fortune cha -ching! <gasps> Mary Thomas Mary Thomas <laughs> He's growing. Fast! I wrote this show because I'm fascinated by my own family history and the wider history. I think everyone likes it. Because these people are real. They lived. And I find them absolutely inspirational. And when you see our show, I'm sure you'll feel the same. <laughs>